Hello and how are you? Uh, on our today's video, I'm going to show you how to create uh, a simple animated subscribe uh, notification for your uh, YouTube videos uh, using the Adobe Premiere Pro. The first step to do this uh, is uh, maybe some of you may, may not have this uh, Adobe Premium Pro. In our uh, next videos, I'll show you how to get that. But uh, simply, you can find some uh, free uh, cracked software uh, where to find. I'll show you the, that. For this case, I'm going to show you that uh, free for PC.org. You can uh, go to this website and you can search uh, for uh, the cracked version of this uh, Adobe Premium Pro. Just you can write. Adobe. You can search like this Adobe Video Editor. On this, you can find this Adobe Premium Pro cracked free download. There are some steps to download and install this thing, but uh, it's not the main topic for this video. Next time, I'll show you uh, just to receive uh, and uh, in order to follow and support our channel, please do not forget to subscribe uh, and to get all the information the notifications then uh, today's our today's video is just to uh, download uh, some simple subscribe banners like this and create a video an animated video for this subscribe uh, banner for this video I choose this uh, banner which you see on the right corner now uh, I'm going to download this but while you are downloading, you have to make sure that this, uh, this, this picture is in PNG format. In PNG format, you can simply edit it with uh, other uh, picture editing tools. Uh, for this case, for my video, I just want to remove this the upper part from this part and I only need this, this part. So in order to... Uh, cut off this this part of the uh, picture you need to go to the uh, Photoshop I want like the desktop if you subscribe banner image then I'll uh, save it on the desktop now we have the picture here then for my uh, video I want to cut the, as I have told you I have to cut this the upper part then I will open this application with Adobe Photoshop simply in Adobe Photoshop just I'll select this part the top part you have to uh, you go to this select icons and you okay just I want to get this part only. then I select and delete then I also select this remaining part and delete then this is a part of the picture I want to make video with so just I'll save it to also change now this changed and we find this picture here when you open it you'll find this part only now I want this picture to be converted to in a video an animated video and I want this uh, banner just to pop up from the top of my video and displayed for a while and to uh, get back so in order to make that we are going to open this Adobe Premium Pro. Uh, let me show you how to uh, open this. Uh, how to open a new project for Adobe Premium Pro. Next part, I'll show you in detail about this uh, Adobe Premium. Now uh, it's opening. It will take some. It will take a while just to open. 
because it's loading a lot of uh, files. Now, this is a window you are going to. Uh, it is going to display when you open this Adobe Premium Pro. Now these are my other projects, but now we are going to open a new project. We give a name for that, let's say uh, banner. Let's say banner. Then we want to save it on the desktop. It's just already as the desktop or any folder you want. You, have, you will browse here and save <coughs> at that location. Now we have opened this Adobe Premium Pro. Also now it will take some time, just, okay. Now it's just displaying the main windows of the uh, Adobe Premium Pro. This is a, a place where you can control your effects. This is a place where uh, your video is going to display it. And this is the main place where you want to uh, add a video, an audio, anything you want, you will drag and drop here. Then this is called the timeline. Uh, in other videos, I'll show you what each, each component of this window uh, are meant to be. Then simply we will go to uh, the desktop and drag this picture and drop it here. Now it have already imported uh, the uh, picture and it have already converted it to uh, a video. A video which is for uh, about five seconds. But for my case, I want it to be uh, like uh, six seconds. Because I am going to add some animations and I need some time for that. Now, just you zoom in here. To zoom in, you should uh, press the Alt key of your keyboard and you just scroll up. Now, to zoom in, just simply scroll up just to uh, for your file. Then you, you select this indicator and this marker, time marker, then you put it here. Then you drag it, the video to be six, six seconds. Now the video is for six seconds as it is displayed here. It is for six seconds. Then the next thing I want to do is just to add some animations. As I have told you, I want this subscribe now banner to appear from the top then it will stay for some durations and disappears in order to do that you go to the uh, that's all about uh, motion and you can make this part on this position in order to make what most people don't show you is you have to uh, click this uh, toggle animation or the uh, stopwatch icon unless you do that the uh, the software is not recognizing what you want to do but if you click this you are just going to tell the uh, software that your animation goes with time so now we click this uh, position now it gets uh, blue then we are going to add uh, keyframes when you when you just Okay, when you just click this stopwatch icon before uh, position, you'll see that something is appearing here, right here, just watch. This is called the keyframe. The keyframe is a, a location where you are telling this application to do some things. So I'll take my keyframe up to the last minute. It is a six minute. You have to drag it until the place you want to uh, make an animation. Then we go back on on the first second. We have to add this this icon you see here. It is just to add or remove a keyframe. Now we want to add a keyframe 
with it, its own specific position data for this video. Now I add a keyframe. You see, we are adding a keyframe here. We click that keyframe and we tell this uh, position to be somewhere. For my case, first I want it just, you see this double arrow, you'll click and hold on that and move it to the left. You will see that the picture is changing its position. Now the position is changed. Now it's already disappeared. This is the data for this specific uh, keyframe. Then I go to the first second of this video. I want to go to the first second of this video. Then I drag this marker tool. Now I don't give any data, so it is it is just linearly interpolating the position of this uh, picture with the keyframe. If you remember the keyframe we have put at the end of this video, it interpolates with that. No problem, we'll adjust it later. Then add another keyframe. Now we are adding a keyframe for the first uh, minute, uh, for the first second. Then we click on that and tell its position. Now I want its position to be like at, uh, let's say 15. 15, as it is displayed here. Then we continue. We go to the second uh, second of this uh, video. Then we will also add another keyframe. Then for that keyframe, I add uh, just rather than dragging this double arrow, you can click on it and you can get your own uh, position from your keyboard. Just I'll tell it to make it like at. Uh, 100 just 100 is enough it's now at 100 for this keyframe okay then we continue to the third second of this video at the third second i place my marker tool and add a keyframe now a keyframe is added here and i'll tell a position for this keyframe it is uh, enough to make it this 112. Just click 112. It's okay. Then we go to the fourth second of this video. So now I want uh, I want this banner to stay for one second <coughs> at its full display. So I will again click 112. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, no, I'm not adding. Okay, no problem. Okay, 112, this keyframe. Also, here it is 112 for this keyframe. Then we are going to the fifth, the fifth second of the video. Just zoom. Now we are at the fifth second. We add a keyframe. Now, after being displayed for one second, we want it to get, to get back. So we, we make this position like uh, like uh, 70, let's say 70, it's good. Then we are going to our last uh, keyframe here we find it this is the last keyframe so we add a data for this for this the position is going to be uh, going to be a negative then we drag now it should disappear as a six minute then it's finished now so now we can look the video. 
okay now it's done our video <coughs> our subscribe banner it's already done now you can check the video it comes from the top it stays for a second for one second and it disappears back then the final step for this video is just to <coughs> export this in order to uh, export this uh, there are a lot of a lot of variety of uh, options but uh, there are two things i want to tell you if you want this uh, banner to be displayed on a black uh, background on your other videos which is not uh, that much advisable you just can save it like uh, you just can save it export media you just can save it with mp4 uh, format in order to save it with mp4 format you have to use this h 2.64 but which is not uh, this 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 format is not most advisable because it will display also this black this also to display also this black background on your other videos which is not good so in order to <coughs> save it with a transparent background only this this banner to be displayed you just uh, select quicktime we, uh, the format should be quicktime the preset should be uh, GoPro Cineform RGB 12 bits with uh, alpha at maximum bit depth is the preset then you can adjust the quality here let's make it 5 then you should change the name if you want I want it to be saved on the desktop just the name to be banner This is the name should be banner then I save it on the desktop then you should say export now it's finished then uh, your video is here you can't just I'm going to show you that there is no effect for that video just I'll delete this then add some backgrounds for another next video then i go to uh, some folders i have some pictures here i have some background pictures and i open to produce uh, yeah, let me use this background and i show you what that video we created earlier is going to do about then our new background is added let's say this another video another youtube video or whatever video you want then let's uh, then let's let's make this video also for like 10 or 11 seconds now we want that subscriber uh, banner on top of this uh, video then here it is banner the project we have made before now it is here then when you play you see now the subscribe now button is coming with a transparent background now your video continues your video continues but the subscriber banner is coming right now it is so big so you can adjust the uh, dimensions of this uh, image and the position also then you double click on that now it's selected just you make it small and you choose the right corner where you want it to pop up you can make it on the right corner or the left corner no problem then it's finished now this is our video this is our another video this is just the subscriber banner 
You see? It comes from the top, it pops up, twists for some minutes, and it disappears. Okay? Then we save this video with MP4 format, no problem. Export media. Uh, in order to save it with MP4, you have to choose H2.64. Uh, just you can see it is 40 megabyte. You can adjust the quality here. It is its quality is 10 10 megabytes per second just let's make it 40 megabyte per second now the uh, size also increases it's 19 megabyte now then the final thing is just export oh I think we don't choose the uh, yes it by default it, it, it saves this on the desktop now let's see our video let's see our video with this subscribe now banner okay guys this is all uh, for today please do not forget to subscribe our channel to receive uh, notifications